So that uh, Goron that's like right underneath my uh, <laughs> face cam, he's like looking like towards Link like, what in the hell did I just witness? <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, buddy kid again. Welcome back to more Skyward Sword HD. Last time we, um, Zelda went back in time with uh, Impa and Impa gave us the instructions to go and see the old lady at the sealed grounds because she'd know exactly what to do. And in this episode, we are going to go and do exactly that. But now that we're in the sky, I'm going to look and see if there's any kind of treasure chest that we can get. Looks like there's one right there, which we can get. Mm, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this one. Here we go. And whoop, trying to remember the bird controls. Yep, that's how you do it. All right. And now we just got to go over here. And I believe in memory serves. All right, I can just drop down into this. <coughs> Oops. All right, there's no way for us to... Actually, is there? No, there's no way for us to climb up there, so we gotta just, like, jump back down here and, like, call our bird back. Yeah, um... Yeah, we just gotta, like, press the button. Really fast. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and try that again. Go to this rock. Oh. And, okay. <laughs> I like how Link didn't even take any uh, points of damage that time. It was just my fault. All right, and what's this? Got the heart metal. Hearts will appear more often as long as you're carrying this. If you're worried about running out of hearts you'll, while you're out venturing, keep this with you. Ah, so it's like a good luck charm, kind of, so to be, uh, so to speak. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll take that too, and then yeah, we'll go ahead and put it right there. And now, before we start going off into the Farren region, we are going to. Make our way over to this area right over here. There's no reason for us to go to Skyloft, so not gonna go over there. Wait a minute, is this what is that what I think it is? I think Yeah, I think that's like a training area, so that area might be optional, but you know, let's go ahead and keep on going though, just to be sure. Hmm, how much longer do we have to go actually? Because wait a minute here. Aren't there like speedy stones on this area somewhere? I believe those are what, uh, thieving birds? But I already have like what, 300 rupees, so there's no point in going over there. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. Now here's my question. Oh, I can't really see into my pouch while I'm on the bird. That's a tornado. Don't want to get hit by that. Go ahead and just run around that. Go. Speed. All right, how close are we to this area? Cause like, it... oh, we still got quite a ways to go. All right, keep on going. Here. Just keep on going here. further back. Go. Keep on flying, flying upwards. Oh, yeah, like there's some birds over here that have like rupees for us, but we already have like 300, so there's no point. In fact, I could go to Skyloft to see if there's like... Alright, we're close. See if there's like any kind of like good item for us to get. Also, we're here, but I don't see the islands. Maybe it's like above us somewhere? Yeah, it's gotta be like above us somewhere. Or maybe it's like... Huh. Where am I? It says I'm right above it. No, no, let go. Okay, so maybe it's like this rock right here? Oh no, I'm actually going away from it. Okay. I'm lost! Okay, now I'm like looking away from it. Uh, okay, so I think it's right below us somewhere. Maybe if we like turn around over here. Yeah, I'm not seeing any islands around here. Unless that's it right over there. Well, it could be, it could be. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if this is it right here. Let's use this. Oh, I do believe it is. Wait a minute. Yeah, that don't look lit up to me. Maybe there's like a, um, another one down below us? Huh. 
Hang on, what am I missing? So it says it's over here. Yeah, it says, oh wait, I think I see it. I think I see it. It's like way, way, way above us. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn around here then. Yeah, yeah, that looks like it right there, right there. Now is there, oh yeah, it's on top of this area right over here and whoop, there we go. And now let's open this up. What is this gonna be? Is this gonna be worth my time? It is. Ooh, very much worth my time. I just need one more of those and I'll be good to go. Ooh, oops, sorry, Lost Wing didn't mean to hit you on the thing over here. Okay, so I know I said there was no reason for us to go to Skyloft. The thing is, we have like 300 rupees to spend and I know for a fact that Beetle is a thing in this game. So let's see if, um, let's see if Beetle has anything that I want. So let's see. Also, we're gonna go see if we can like upgrade any of our equipment there. Too. All right, we have 300. I want to. I want to go to Beetle Shop first because I know his shop can be like stupidly expensive. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully, whenever I drop off on my bird, I'll be like relatively close to the bazaar because. <laughs> As many years as I've been playing this game, I still get lost in Skyloft. Like, <laughs> actually, I was showing this game to my mother um, a few days back, and she's having fun with it. She's having a good time, but she gets lost in the bazaar, like, really easily, which, in all, in all honesty, I don't blame her. Skyloft can be a really tricky place to navigate. Also, that's right in front of the bazaar, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see though. Let me see. Is Beetle right above me? Also, oh, I don't have any ammo, so I can't really summon him down here. Look up. Yeah, I don't see Beetle ship, so. Oh, no, wait, it's right behind me. I don't have any ammo for it though, so. Maybe some of these bushes will give me some ammo? Nope. Can I buy ammo from this place? Oh. Wait a minute. I feel like this is a mistake. Hang on. For just 20 rupees? Sure. Because I need some ammo. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. I need to go back out the way I came because I think Beetle is still right behind here. Because I think whenever you go back outside, he goes back to the area he was at before. Oh, no, wait. There he is. There he is. All right, let me see if I can, like, hit that bell right there. Oh, nope. A little higher. Nope, there it goes. There it goes. So we hit the bell, and that makes a rope here. And then we climb up the rope, right? Um. Oh, wait a minute. We just grab the rope, and then he pulls us up. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, uh, let go of me. Let's see what's up here. Alright, Beetle, what do you have? Oh, you have a few things, actually. One of the things is something my mom's been looking for. Oh! Oh, you've come all the way, so it's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's airship has everything you could ever want. Please take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that'd be even better. Alright, how much for the adult wallet? Oh! That's an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. With this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. Say goodbye to all those items you couldn't pick up. Another rupee because your wallet was stuffed full. Leave no rupee behind. Even if you must be able to just see just how useful this item is, all for only 100 rupees. You want it? Hell yeah. Give me that. More rupees. Extra wallet. Now 300 more. Yep. It's over there. Oh, really? It suits you. What else do you have here? You have a butterfly net, which could be useful, but what's what's this? Oh! That's a life metal! It bestows a bunch of mysterious and mystical effects on whoever carries it. What kind of effects? Uh, don't ask me! I don't actually know! You should find out for yourself! Pretty sure it's a real bargain at 800 rupees! That is money I don't have. Sorry, Brute Beetle. Oh, please take a look at other things I have for sale. 
Uh, how about this butterfly net? That's a bug net! You know, for catching bugs, insects too? Okay, there aren't so many bugs here, but you'll be able to catch tons with this while there are some. And for only 50 rupees, you want it? Hell yeah. <laughs> net pro- did he really make a net profit pun? That's funny. Oh, it really suits you! Alright, how much for the extra piece right here? That'll increase the number of items you can carry in your adventure pouch by one! It has to be the most useful thing imaginable for adventuring, and yet, I don't have that much. Sorry, mate. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and head on out. Thank you, Beetle. I will talk to you later, probably in a different game. <laughs> but, all right. Now that we've done that, there's actually one last thing I want to do at the bazaar. Let me see if I can like reach there. Here, we're 10, 11 minutes in this. Let's see if we can buy any more equipment. All right, actually, first, we're gonna see if you can upgrade my things. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries, I can fix that too. So what'll it be? Upgrade gear? <laughs> you got it, these are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now. Uh, this one? Alright, I don't have an evil crystal. What about here? I need two dusk relics. Can't do that yet. How about the beetle? Hornet larva, I need two of those. Steel. Alright, bomb bag, hold ten. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. I have three. Oh, I need two more to upgrade. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. All right, what about this? Even better iron shield. Hmm, don't have enough for that. Uh, sorry, man, I don't have any, I don't have enough. Hold on now, you change your mind? Well, then all the... It's fine. Come see me whenever you change it back, little buddy. <laughs> I just love how enthusiastic that guy is. Just about everything. Also, what's this? That's a small bomb bag. Just slip this into your pouch and carry five more. Wait a minute. You can have multiple of these things at once? I don't have that much rupees. Sorry, mate. Oh, that's quite <laughs> right. What about this? That's a small seed satchel with this in your pouch and carry 10 additional seeds. I do have enough for this though, so I'll go ahead and get that. Alright, let's go over to the item truck roof. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I probably should. Hello. Hi. Hello, welcome to the item check. Want to put stuff in your pouch for storage? Okay, want to take something out of storage? That's fine. So is there anything in your pouch of storage you want me to move? Uh, yeah. Uh, All right, let's see it. We're gonna go ahead and store away the wooden shield because we're uh, having no use of it right now. So go ahead and put it in there. Uh, okay, thank you, come again. <laughs> Man, like the way she talks like that, I just like, hello. Small seed satchel. I'll go ahead and take that. Got a small seed satchel. Ah, the customer is always right. I've taken a liberty of placing it in your pouch. All right, so now we can carry more ammo for our slingshot. Good to know. And we are getting relatively close to the end of the episode. So what I'm thinking is we'll start heading towards the Farron Woods and then next time on Skyward Sword HD, we'll figure out what's going on into the area. So see you guys later. Eat bananas. Here we go though. Just one more hour in and Farron Woods is actually relatively close. All right, I could probably make it before the episode ends so though. Let's go. <laughs> Got some time, did some shopping, we're prepared for whatever's left. <laughs> I do think it's really great though that we found like an item that's gonna give us more hearts, because that's gonna be really good for down the road. Speaking of down the road, that's exactly where I'm going. Alright. I think if we go down oh no, it doesn't give us a choice. Ooh. What the Gross! What are you? <laughs> Link's face! Fuck me, help! <laughs> Look at Link's face! That was so funny! I forgot how funny that face is. Ugh, rough landing.
Uh, I think I might have broke oh. something. Oi, fuck me. Seriously, didn't they ever teach you how to land without crash? Whoa! Birds? Tiny birds? What are they? What are they? And what is that thing? Oh wow, Bruce, racist much? But... How? Why? What? Where am I? What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry? So I figured I'd tell you and you might lead me to Zelda. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? And what's all these trees? There's so many. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal? What's with this place? If there's something to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? Hey, calm down, big buddy. Come on. It's okay, I can tell you. We're on the surface. It's another world far bigger than our world up there. Uh... Uh, whoa, you're kind of imploding my mind right now, but I, I think I get what you're saying. If I've got this right, Zelda is down here somewhere and she's okay? Yeah, that's exactly it, Bruce. <laughs> she's, she's okay. Oh wow, that's so great. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind, you have no idea. You know, fuck me, it's sort of alright down here. This place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it Grooseland! Grooseland? Excuse you? So, let me see if I got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is? I see, right. Well, fuck me. <laughs> Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. Big Groose will handle the search for Zelda from here. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. <laughs> oh yeah? With what bird? Then when we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official. <laughs> And then the two of us will get some quality time together. <laughs> anyway, the point is, your work here is done. I've got it covered from here. Now, it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. Catch you later, fuck me! Alright, well, <laughs> we'll deal with that later. See you guys later. Speaking of